was a sister, you know, something like that. Um, and just move on like that. But, ma but majorly, I'm saying to you, don't get caught up in the conditions of exempt, because there is no, con uh, exempt makes a condition. Non-obligation, there is no condition. So what you want to do is put the condition on them. That's why you always ask for delegations of authority order, because now you put the conditions on them. And in one place, I went, um, I went to Tommy D's, because I was doing my sister's kitchen, and I went and got some cabinets, right? So um, um, the sister, one of the main managers, sister, and she, was, uh, uh, um, she said, well, brother, you know, I see you here all the time. You know, let me give you a, a contractor's number, you know, so we can give you a reduced um, prices, et cetera. So I said, no deal, no big thing, you know. I said, because I'm writing the taxes off anyway. So now I got double. So now I got a contractor's number, write that off, and then my status, and I write that off. So the manager came out, the guy who owns the store, the European came out, he's talking about, because um, she asked for a card on, on that, right? So I gave her my nationality card, et cetera, tax exempt, ID, et cetera, tax non-obligate. So she said, well, the guy said, well, how can you be ex exempt? Everybody got to pay their taxes. I said, sure, everybody has to pay their taxes, but ta taxes are specific, aren't they? And everybody must be specific to that jurisdiction. I said, what's your nationality? Well, we're all Americans. I said, you look European to me. I might be confused. <laughs> you really look European to me. Let me see your nationality card. He says, well, you know, my license. I said, I need you for your commercial license. Let me see your nationality card. He said, well, we can't be doing this for everybody because, you know, if you don't pay your taxes, then I have to pay them. I said, because that's what's supposed to happen. You the one who got the corporation, not me. You was trying to transfer that on me, but you thought I didn't know, didn't you? I said, now write that off and stop it. <laughs> hmm? Because that's where the tax applies, to the corporate corporation, not to you. The corporations have been transferring their tax to you. Yes. Yes. Exactly correct. But you you could go non-obligation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And they will pay the taxes and not uh, get the oil company is not going to pay these taxes. Yes. And the state went along with it. Because they're, they're shareholders. All right, See, now look, look what you just, look what you just identified. It was just a situation where you talk the conversation where they just let the cat out the bag. Mm -hmm. They know. are the property. Yeah. They are the commerce. Yeah. They're paying the corporation's taxes. Yes, they are. Now, the other thing, and this is for everybody who, when the IRS, Oh, this is a goodie. IRS. When the IRS writes you a, a letter and you talk about, um, or like when you fill out those forms and talk about income, now, um, you want to respond to them um, if you do. Um, I have no capital gains investments. One, I'm not a corporation, natural person. Number two, I have no capital gains investment and I haven't been operating in a corporate capacity investing and so I don't have any returns off investments. As a matter of fact, I'm just working every day, working out my check, my pecuniary compensations, which of course you already know is not taxable, don't you? This is what you want to write down, because it's not. They get you to lie on a contract and say that you have income which means that you have stock on the stock market yes. and, and what you're getting back is what income is. Are we all clear on this? You need to know what income is. Income is the profit, the profit made off of investment. Investments. Under capital gains, operating in a corporate capacity. That is income and nothing else is income. So what? You're working every day, and they're compensating you. That's pecuniary wages or pecuniary compensations, and it is not taxable. It's called personality. Income is not profit. Income. I'm telling you what income is. 
So what I'm telling you that income is, what if they tell you something else, it is not. Income is the residual profit made off of an investment in a corporate capacity for some merchandise, something, some activity, etc. That return, not off the principal, not the principal, the return is income. Income is nothing else other than that. Now, I'm asking anyone here, do you have income? No. Y'all got investment in the stock market? Y'all got cow, cow shoes? Y'all invested in cow shoes? Huh? You know, elephant sneaks or something like that? No, I mean, I'll just, you know, if you haven't, then you don't have an income. You just work nine to five type of thing? Punch the clock? Yeah. That's called pecuniary wages. Write that down and don't forget it. Pecuniary wages or pecuniary compensations. I'm going to give it to you, brother, in a minute. And you too. Pecuniary compensations. And particularly the sisters, because they roll you. Remember, they roll your family. Remember when they rob your husband, they're robbing you. They rob your man, they're robbing you. They rob you, they rob your family. <laughs> P-E-C U-N I-A-R-Y Compensations Slash wages But compensations Now, when you're working And you're, labor, you re you're receiving compensation for your labor That's pecuniary compensations That is not income Unless you list it as that And lie on yourself And then you're taxable That's what we do we fill out the Yes, because you lie and say that it is what it is not, and they just simply hold you to it. But they already know you don't know better. Islam, and then I want to get this brother first, then you, Yahweh. Brother Taj, I say this with all due respect to you as being my elder. Uh, I respect the nature of uh, answering a lot of the questions pertaining to the legal advice. But uh, I would appreciate uh, if you would get more based back on the subject matter, on the topic. Yes. I would appreciate Because that. that is relative. Yes, sir. It, it is relative. Yes, sir. Because it's part of it. Yes. Islam. Islam. Uh, because that's used with all the transactions that create that. They're, all those instruments are tied together. If you don't think they're tied together, they're tied together. So that is subject matter. And, and for you to be identified for that taxation to take place is done with that instrument of that driver's license. That's why they'll ask for it as soon as you go cash a check. So they can put it on that social security number and then send it to the IRS. And then they in turn send you on for your movement. You want to send for that currency. That's movement, the current. Just like current of water, current of electricity. They may seem unrelated. Brother, they're related. That's why we're doing this lecture. Because one of the keys of how raping you is that you don't know what you're doing. And you're assuming things that are unrelated are unrelated. And they're related. Absolutely. Then Yahweh, then you, then brother, Michael, and then the brother. Yes, sir. Uh, just um. getting back to, uh, on the subject of uh, them utilizing and calling it income. Yes. Again, when you get your uh, check, again, utilizing the UCCs. Yes. Again, it's very important because even when As a, standard. a payroll check comes through, it's going to come in capital letters. Yes. If you sign it, you know, you're, they're saying you're operating as a corporation because it's in capital letters. Yes. But and you, you sign agree it, to it, UCC, and that clarifies that you're not operating as a corporation. Yes. So that's all I want to all right, now brother, and then and then sister, and then Michael. Well, since you're there, give it to the sister. Wait. Islam, brother. Islam. Um, in our class, there are two brothers. Um, one is from Ohio. Their name is Alan B. And actually, they have a big case now going up against the IRS regarding this. The only thing is, they're not going at it at a nationally standpoint. They What's their names? Allen B. Allen B. 
That's your last name. Are the Asiatics or Europeans? Asiatics. They're not going to win. Well, they've been... They're succeeding. making headway yeah. because they got them by the They're, marbles. Yeah, be, <laughs> exactly. But um, I'm telling you, I'm telling you honestly, not that they're not going to win in the sense of getting what you call a moral win, is because they, what they do, they have information. What you're going to deal, what you're going to recognize.